right. Hey travelers, Chris here with another review. Sorry, it's a bit loud. We're next to a big street. We are again in Seoul, South Korea, and we are today testing out the Boca Hotel, an IHG hotel. Can't wait to try it out. This is actually the first time we are trying this brand. This is in the middle of the trendy and kind of high-end Gangnam area of Seoul. And so let's see what the hotel is actually like. And already outside you are being greeted by the Foco Hotel's logo, this cute little bird. Overall I like what they have been doing with this brand. They're making it more modern and young, but at the same time as you can see here they have this signature yellow and bluish colors. And I think it's nothing too crazy, this is not something like a W hotel. Um, this still is a fairly stylish but, but kind of you know, neutral. Uh, hotel. So I really like this setup. Um, it's not a very big hotel, but very charming. So I was quite excited to see what we would get. I think we should start by talking about the breakfast, which was for us included due to my IHG status. The breakfast itself, and this is already showing how this is not, you know, the fanciest hotel to be honest. The breakfast was all right, but it's very basic. What does that mean? For example, the a la carte menu is quite limited, although there was a tiny little egg station, so I kind of appreciated that. But besides the a la carte, which I personally don't care about too much, the food offer was rather limited, but more importantly, it wasn't of the highest quality. What does that mean? At least to me, you can see it here with the fruits, for example. Some of the fruits were a bit mushy, or they felt like they bought either not ripe enough or overripe fruits and you could see that throughout the offering that it wasn't too great and the presentation also felt more like a very basic airport lounge. Nevertheless of course if it's included I don't want to complain but I'm not sure I would pay good money to at least attend this uh, breakfast. But anyways you can see here a little bit of our uh, choosing with a quite wild uh, uh, selection. It's it's fine. Um, what struck me as a bit weird was for example that there was no service for coffee and tea for example so all of that well, you were expected to do this as self-service as you can see here. Again has more of an airport lounge feeling but nevertheless it's all right. Just keep that in mind. Before we go to the room, I also want to quickly talk about some of the facilities they have. There is no pool, however there is a restaurant, although I did not get a chance to try it out. There is also a laundry room, you can see already that this is more of a budget hotel in its own right. And there also is a, a decent fitness room that you can see here. Um, again, it's, it's actually fairly big, especially for being in the middle of Gangnam. All right, so let's see what the room actually is like. All right, so we paid around, I believe, 200 to 250 dollars per night. It's actually a fairly small room. You can see it already. It's fairly narrow. Um, you can see that the bed is taking up most of the space. But I do like the color scheme. Generally, Voco Hotel, at least here in Seoul, has these like blue and yellow shades, and you can really see it here come to life. There's a couple of things that make this hotel quite interesting. One is that actually the minibar is included, which is always a plus. I often joke that this is a bit of an endless budget version of a hotel. Besides that, you get some sweets. I actually opened this already. I have no idea what this is. It feels very squishy. But anyway, ta-da. So you get some sweets. And besides that, as you can see, it's quite, it's quite compact. Like, for example, this area, there's the space to the bed. Everything is a bit more compact. This is a four-star hotel. This is not as big as if you go to a, you know, a five-star hotel, let's say a Park Hyatt that we went to recently. Besides that, also you see our stuff here on the floor. Uh, given the somewhat limited space, let me show you the storage or more the lack thereof. So you actually don't really have anything at the entrance. The entrance really is just that. There's no storage here. So if you want to actually store your jackets, your suitcase and so on you can do that here unfortunately we brought quite a big suitcase and we cannot really get it um, somewhere inside here but besides that you have a little bit of storage room it's just not you know super big 
Besides that, as I mentioned, the minibar is included and that's really nice. Um, let me show you what that entails. This is going to be refilled every day. And this even includes some alcoholic beverages. So this includes some local beer, some sodas and uh, water, sparkling water and so on. So that's a nice touch. Something I mainly have seen in Anders Hotel, so that's why I was saying that earlier. Besides that, you don't get an espresso machine, but we have some, I believe, poor of our coffees. And generally the hotel is trying to go for this kind of cute and stylish vibe, I guess. I really like those. It's quite nice looking. You also get, in terms of tea, you get the Ronnefeld brand, which we actually recently saw in the Ritz-Carlton Kyoto. So that speaks either for this hotel or against the Ritz-Carlton. I don't know how good the tea brand is, but just for your reference. And then lastly, of course, we have a bathroom. Unfortunately, no bathtub. This is quite a small bathroom, but that means that you have a lot more space in the shower. And I really like this combination of black appliances and you have these, this like wood type thing. In terms of soap, shampoo and so on, I'm not familiar with this brand. Might be nice, I don't know, but I do like that it's a, um, this is a refillable one. So that's always a plus from my side. And besides that, not much else to say. You get this uh, Japanese style toilet with bidet function. I love these, always good to have. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Should you stay here? I cannot help you with that decision, but what I do like is that this is in the middle of Gangnam, which is kind of the trendy and high-end area of Seoul. So if you're looking for a hotel around that area, maybe keep the Volco Hotel in mind.